Hello guys, good morning. It is nine in the morning and today we are just going to be doing a very chill, very laid back try to get ready with me. Um, I actually have my coffee on deck. I'm gonna show you, this is my mug. Got it from Alfred Coffee in Los Angeles, where I'm from, if y'all know. This is kind of like their slogan and yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. Um, I'm actually going to brunch with a friend in like an hour and a half, so I want to just kind of film and talk to you guys. First, we're gonna put my headband on and my hair, but I'll be right back. My skin looks crazy, red, but it's like completely flat as a lot of you know. Um, I struggle from a lot of like pigmentation on my skin. Um, and yeah, that's just where, we are, where we're at right now. So if you're looking at me like, girl, what's wrong with your face? That's, that's what's wrong with my face. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by prepping my face. I'm gonna be using two primers in conjunction, the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm and the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. I'm just gonna apply this on my T-zone and the oily aspects of my face, like such. I'm gonna just do a little dab like this. And I used to not like this primer, but I kind of found a way to make it work. And then just pat on like my T-zone and my nose area and just wherever I get really oily. And then, I'm just gonna pull in the back. And then I go in with the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm, which is a really nice kind of cooling balm. It's not really moisturizing, it just kind of feels nice even though it claims it's hydrating. And I just put that on the perimeter of my face, behind my ear, and it just feels very nice. Especially it's actually kind of getting warmer here in Vegas. The weather here has been very interesting. Like some days, or last week, it was mostly rainy and cold and windy, and now it's like, warm and windy and i think in the upcoming week it's gonna stay in like the mid 60s to 70s which isn't bad like i'm not mad about it but it's just kind of like oh my god i don't want it to be scorching hot um i actually just bought a little zero gravity reclining chair that i have on my patio um next to like maple's outdoor cot so we can kind of like chill together and enjoy the sun together so yeah by the way i know that there's a ton of videos where i have like hair just hanging out from like my little clasp but <laughs> yeah I'm sorry if y'all were bothered by that but I just have a lot of hair that gets stuck in my necklace really easily okay okay right. foundation um, I'm gonna be out and about today so even though I do apply SPF moisturizer every day um, when I know I'm gonna be out running errands or out in the sun I like to use a foundation with SPF as well so I'm gonna be taking my bare minerals bare pro foundation this is SPF 20 it's in the shade sandalwood 15 just gonna be taking that and um, what brush do I want to use today I'm gonna to use my morphe y6 you already know I'm just gonna pump two pumps here and distribute that all over my face so i just finished watching jessica jones i can't no maybe not just like a couple days ago and i finished it in like two days um and it was actually really good like i my boyfriend and i used to watch like a bunch of the marvel shows together we watched like our first together we watched daredevil together He's watched Luke Cage, I haven't. I've watched Jessica Jones, he hasn't. We also watched The Defenders together. Um, I have to say though, I kind of wasn't the biggest fan of Iron Fist or Daredevil. I found the protagonists of each of those shows to be very, like, weird. Like, I, I kind of got their sense of like morality and where they were coming from, but in my opinion, some of it was just way too either tongue in cheek or didn't make sense or, blah 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 they annoyed me for one reason or another okay like I, I just have to put that out there this just kind of annoyed me um but Jessica Jones the first season was good I found this season to be a lot more complex and let me know if any of you guys have seen it because I would love to know what your opinion is I'm going to be going in with my Colourpop combo right here in the shade light 20 and medium 30 um light 20 to kind of under under highlight under my eyes oh my god and my face and then medium 20 to spot conceal. These do oxidize a bit, so be careful when picking your shade because it may seem like it's your color, but when you apply it on the skin, like it will darken, but it'll darken right away, so you'll know right away. I'm gonna be blending that in with my Morphe highlight and contour sponge, and yeah, this is a really like dense sponge, and I actually haven't used a sponge in like weeks, because you guys know I mostly just gravitate towards my brushes, but here we go. 
I'm gonna be applying some eyeshadow today, so I'm gonna bring it up to my eyelid to just kind of work as eyeshadow primer as well. One of my favorite hacks to save some time. All right, and then I'm going to set my face with some powder. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I haven't used this on my channel before, but as you can see, I'm like very much out. And there was like a lot of controversy going back and forth between whether or not Laura Mercier was cruelty free. But then I just went on her website yesterday and she said that she is, or they said that they are, so back to using it. I mean, honestly, you guys, like there are so many brands out there that have disappointed me that, um, I have my collection that were cruelty free when I bought them and now aren't like NARS or like OGX and it's like why would you guys take that step backwards like I don't I really don't understand at all and it's just shameful so I'm just gonna kind of bake underneath the eyes real quick with this just lightly tapping it and I'm not really baking but this powder and the dampness of the sponge is gonna help that sink into my skin and for the rest of my face, I'm just going to take um, a loose setting or a loose powder brush. In this case, my Eco Tools brush, you already know, and just sweep that all over my face. I will say, I know this powder is hyped. I bought it like a while ago um, because it was so hyped, but honestly, I don't think it's worth the money. <laughs> it's just me. It's a good powder. I'm not going to say it's not a good powder. It doesn't have flashback. It's very finely milled. At the end of the day, though, it still has talc, which is one of those products that I try to avoid, but I know, especially with cheaper products, I can't in powders. But this is like a $38 powder, and it still has talc in it, which is very confusing to me because, like, Cover FX is known for, like, not having talc, and even my hard candy powder that I got from Walmart doesn't have talc. So I'm just... I don't, I don't know why... Like, they couldn't find an alternative. They say it's, like, milled with, like, French clay or whatever. But who knows. All right, we're just going to finish up with the face real quick before I do my eyes because I'm just doing a really simple, like, eye look. I'm taking my ColourPop and Alexis Ren um, Topaz Bronzer and Highlight Duo. I'm just going to be taking this. This is called Golden Moment. I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics 124 brush. Just kind of dipping that in. There is some kick up and it is powdery, so you're going to want to make sure you go in with a light hand. But I actually just placed a bunch of orders on the Essence website and I got a, a lot of nail polishes from them. That's like literally the only thing I got from them. And um, the Kale Polish website got Das Expensive, which is a really pretty top coat. I love nail polishes and I'm always on the hunt for really good cruelty free nail polishes i have a ton of kale polish it's like my favorite nail polish brand ever but i wanted to venture out and try like essence because they have really cheap but good quality nail polishes and also koki cosmetics i know that they have a lot of good nail polishes as well so yeah i'm gonna venture out and try some of those as well and i also just ordered um some bath and body works fine fragrance mist onto my nose real quick but um yeah, I, anyway, wanted to get some of those fine fragrance mists from Bath & Body Works, and I'll show you everything that I get when I get them in, in a vlog that I'm going to film for you guys next week. I figured, like, maybe you guys want to break from me talking. Well, no, I'm obviously still going to be talking in those videos, I guess, but me, like, you know, showing you how I apply my makeup and everything, and yeah, I don't know, but... Hopefully I like them and I'm going to show them with you guys. Alright, for blush, I'm going to be going in with the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Coral. I have the Satin Love Blush, which is more of like a cool toned neutral pink, and this is more of like a coral, which are like my favorite shades, which is my favorite shade. It was singular. What, what am I doing? Okay. I'm taking my Morphe um, stippling brush that doesn't have a name and just blend that into my cheeks. All right, I'm gonna finish up my face with the highlight in this palette, the golden one. It's called She's Here to Stay. Be taking my Morphe R36, just swirling that, dipping that in here. I wanna know what your guys' favorite brushes are. Like, honestly, I know I just did a video of like my favorite brushes, but I am always on the hunt. Like, I seriously don't know why. I have all these brushes that I have perform great. Like, they're all good brushes. 
because I've either taken them from other people's recommendations or I found them on myself and I was like, this is amazing, this is great. But I want to know what you guys like. Like, what are your favorite brushes? Um, right off the bat, I, if you say MAC or anything, I'm obviously not going to buy it because it's not cruelty free, but they do have a lot of dupes that you can find from other brands. But there are a lot of brands that I haven't ventured into when it comes to brushes like Luxie or Zoeva or Smith or Sigma. And I want to kind of like dabble into those a little bit. Ooh, you can tell that highlight is very golden. Okay, now onto the eyes. I'm gonna be taking this Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette. It's really travel friendly, good, staple, neutral palette. And I'm gonna start off with the shade. Can I like Okay, this mirror like won't come down and I don't want to blind you guys with the light. I'm going to start off with the shade Smarty Pants in my crease. Just this like light neutral shade right there. I'm taking my Morphe M504, just washing that all into my crease. These shadows are pigmented, but they are very easy to work with. Also, I cannot believe it has been a year since I have had a vacation. I know that I mentioned in my video before, or one of my videos, that um, I went to Hawaii with my friend Sally and we had a great time, and that was like a year ago. I cannot believe it's been a year. Like, I think when we say time flies by, like, we, it's not like it feels like yesterday, but it just feels so familiar and so like, it like it just happened so to speak like not like yesterday but it just feels so fresh that's the word then i'm going to take the shade rebel it's just like this really pretty mauvey shade and i'm just going to take my morphe m573 more tapered brush and just kind of tightly put that into my crease in my outer v i'm not making this a dark look at all because it's daytime brunch and the brunch is a very casual spot at that so i'm just kind of packing this onto my outer portion of my eye and then whatever product I kind of get right here I just like diffuse it this way so it leaves like a light wash of color on the lid I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E27 and take that Smarty Pants shade again and just kind of blend everything together oh the joys of having hooded eyes all right then I'm just kind of gonna like kind of gonna I'm gonna put some of this white shade called Charmer on this part of my eye, like my eyelid, to meet that wash of color in the back. I'm just taking this Morphe B84 brush and I'm just gonna softly like pack that into, just to kind of tie everything together and lighten up this look. I'm gonna go in and add a little bit more of that Rebel on the outer corners and then we will be done with the eyeshadow. All right, we are officially done with the eyeshadow on the lid, and now I'm just going to quickly work my lower lash line, taking the shade Leader. It's the dark purple in this palette. I'm just going to quickly smudge this on the lower lash line, really close to my eyeballs. All right, so now that there's like a hint of that on my lower lash line, my, oh wow, my eyeshadow looks crazy on camera. I don't know if it's the lighting, but Def looks a little cray. I'm gonna quickly line my tight line and a little bit on the lash line using the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. It's my favorite brown liner. There's like a hint of brown shimmer. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but there's like a hint of like brown shimmer in there. So I am going to go ahead and do that and be right back. All right, so I'm back and I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I have been really loving this mascara. It's definitely one of those more volumizing formulas, so it can leave your lashes looking a little bit clumpy, but if you really like volume, it's a good one. First, priming with my Urban Decay Subversion Primer, because I can't, can't not, you know. Look at that difference, you guys. I cannot... I love mascara like I had lash extensions for a period of time and I did not like them because one they would always fall out so your lashes were always looking like a little uneven every day and also when you washed your face like when you went to go like I don't know like rub your face around your eye like your eye 
it would like be poking you like it would hurt almost in a way and I didn't like that and I actually kind of missed putting on mascara every day like there's something so therapeutic about wiggling this wand through your eyelashes and so satisfying and gratifying that I don't know I couldn't do without it y'all I couldn't but uh, I'm just gonna be taking my essence make me brow gel mascara I'm not gonna use pencil or anything this is pretty much what I do on a daily basis I just take a tinted brow gel and run it through my brows because I can't be bothered with a mascara or with a pencil but yeah I want to know like what you guys would take with you to a desert island mine would be well, I would say brow gel but I could I guess I could use mascara as that mine would definitely be mascara concealer tinted lip balm and highlight probably I like bronzer no highlight I forgot I always forget to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone okay I need to do this I'm gonna take funny girl from this palette it's just this shimmery champagne color it's very pigmented just kind of lightly go in here I actually don't like a lot of inner corner highlight does that make me weird I feel like it makes my eyes look weird and I'm just gonna take that along my brow bone you can either use a matte or shimmery highlight on your brow bone. I tend to go shimmery, but it's not that I necessarily prefer shimmery. I just happen to use shimmery a lot. So our last step in this whole process, well, setting spray as well, is a lip color. Today I'm going to be using this Desi and Katie nude in the shade More Creamer, please. And it's just a really, really beautiful, creamy nude, especially for medium skin tones. No shade is their other color, which is better for like light to medium skin tones and then I think this is better for medium to deep skin tones but to each their own now I'm just gonna last but not least set my face with the Kat Von D locket setting mist all right you guys and that completes this chatty get ready with me I love doing this kind of like laid back talk through videos i much prefer talk throughs to voiceovers but like i feel like i talk too much if i do talk throughs whereas voiceovers it's like quick and i'm sure it's easier to follow along but yeah this is just like a simple kind of look that i'll be wearing to brunch today and yeah feel free to please leave me down below what you want to see next always welcome ideas you know what i'm saying but yeah that's the end of this video you guys thank you so much for watching um, I'd love it if you subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But yeah, I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye.